Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey, welcome back to Tears and Weep to Roll with your girl Lati, channeled messenger with the most high God is infinite intelligence exercising the power and the force of the breath of life. Yes, we are. Thank you so much for joining. And uh yes, we were uh getting ready to get underway for another reading, but we kind of had to stop for dinner and and stuff and uh we had a little issue with the smoke alarm. But it's all worked out now and dinner turned out well. Everything was repaired and redone and it was it was really good. It was it was good. Um so uh, we wanted to jump back in here and see if we can get this reading out, right? And see if we can get this out. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. Spirit says this is a love reading, a relationship. Something's going on in a relationship. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. It's in a challenge. Yes. Why? What is the challenge, Spirit, can you say? Yeah, we'll find out in the cards. Okay, let's get another card. Unconditional love, oneness, self-love is in a, it's in a challenge, and I can say that for that's true for the collective. Yeah, self-love is be as a whole is a, a issue. Unconditional love, you know, Cupid's arrow, having faith, love is coming. So maybe somebody is in a position where they feel like they are challenged with receiving unconditional love and not having any faith that it's on the way, that it's coming. What Spirit says, uh, that's in the upright. Have faith that love is coming. It's a surprise invitation or a meeting. Is this a good meeting? Is it going to, is it, some, yeah, obviously it's needed if it's something that's going to happen, right? Okay. Mirror. Mirroring each other. Self-image relationships reflect our wounds. Ooh. Okay, what is that, beloved? That's a challenge. So, again, meeting with someone who is challenged with self-love. Yeah, I feel not just the unconditional love, but self-love. Being one, unity, balance, right? And it seems like you two are probably mirroring each other in some kind of way. Yeah, reflecting your wounds, I feel like Spirit is saying. Is it this? Yeah, receiving what you need. Be mirroring each other, trying to receive or get what you need from another person. Um, yeah. The ability to move on is in a challenge. Yeah, but it's a challenge with getting what you need because if you both are mirroring the same hurt and pain, then it's what is the likelihood of that individual being able to provide to you what they have not yet discovered for self yet? Right, right, yeah, we. So if a person hasn't been able to develop a, a sentiment or an emotion or a level of depth, um, and you haven't either, and you guys are both seeking that in each other, it's going to be hard to find because neither one of you have developed it. You know, so again, feeling that self-love in the challenge because oftentimes coming together in unity with self and wholeness is what's needed in order for the relationship to thrive, for you to actually call in a, a reflection of wholeness. Someone else who's going to be whole. Yeah, a heart with the key that would hold the key. Yeah. So welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together is perfect. All of that, this challenge is before you can get to the open heart, you know, your heart being unlocked, right? And part of the challenges so far is receiving what you need or moving on, closure issues, closure issues we see here. Get that back in there, closure issues, moving on. Right, progressing through the stages, and that is because uh, mirror reflection, mirroring someone else, those relationships that reflect the wounds. So the ab ability to be able to see what that situation was projecting back onto you, so that you know where to place your attention at for self, so you can heal that coming into full self love and oneness. Yes, and doing that, you know, yeah. And maybe you're going to meet with this person, have a conversation with them. And maybe you'll have an opportunity to kind of bust up some of this stuff and open your heart back up. Yeah. 
what I say, hammer time, bust up some of this stuff because it was some sabotage. The ability to rebuild, right? Persistent um, working on it. You know, that's what I feel. You know, you will be able to rebuild, to break this stuff down so you can build yourself back up. And that would be the key. Yes. Is there anything else in this deck? I don't know. Where should we go next? Spirit is taking us to the other side of the table. We got some empowering questions. Get that breath, that fresh breath of life on there. I don't know how fresh I just ate there, y'all. We might need to go, you know, brush so we can be refreshing. Just saying. Anywho, Spirit says, you might want to ask yourself some questions. This, this, okay. Yeah. Do you want another question? Nope, that's it. Turn it over. All right. Which one first? This one. And then we'll take that. Here we go. Spirit says, this right here. Gather on that for a second. Spirit says, what would I be proud of myself if I spoke to other people in the same ways way as my thoughts speak to me how do my thoughts speak to me yes right over here in the top of this challenge right here right because again if self-love and oneness is an issue and a challenge right then your internal mind speak might be you know uh you beating yourself up about it going over and over it again roman we ruminating it's a spirit here it's like confusing uh you will be going over it over it and over and over and over in your head, in your mind. Uh, your thoughts to yourself are probably not very kind. Or if they are, they might be mixed to and fro, to and fro, right? Whatever the case may be. So watch your mind speak. How do your thoughts speak to you? Is that something, like how would it sound if you said that to somebody else? Or if somebody else said it to you on the outside, you know, outside of you. Like if I was your thoughts and I said that to you, how would you feel about it? You know, is it... Is it something that would make you feel encouraged and motivated to accept the fact that you make mistakes and you need to move on? To accept the lessons that you learned and move on? Yeah, we talk to you in that loving kind of way. Be your own friend. That's up. One underneath the bottom. What kinds of recurring situations or people do I attract? What kinds of lessons might they have about myself? Yeah. Again, when we talk about where is it? Right here, yeah. I was, t I was touching it. Uh, look at that. Relationships that reflect your wounds, right? So, what kind of recurring situations, Spirit said? What kind of recurring situations come about that's reflecting back to you what you need to heal on the inside out? Because again, oftentimes when we are sitting in a position and our energy is calling in adversities to us, and we're calling and claiming these relationships that. Uh, are coming to teach us something really it's tr it's trying to show you a part of you that needs to be adjusted amended or or mended right because again mirroring the re re mirroring relationships reflect your wounds but also the issue of self-love and oneness is there right and then the ability to receive what you need what you really really need right and that can be discovered once you get to wholeness right taking that hammer busting stuff down busting it down busting it down and being able to use that hammer and rebuild rebuild consistently and persistently working on it and that right there is the key the key to unlocking your heart re-unlocking your heart i hear spirit saying re-unlock it like it was open and then you locked it and now you have to go through this process again to unlock it. Yeah. Where are we going, Spirit? This one right here? All right. Let's get it. Thank you. It's a different read. I haven't had the card set up. This Spirit called me to set two rows. One row here, one row here. And it seems like we're just going back and forth. But I don't know how Spirit is going to do it. So it's interesting. Always like a box of chocolates over here at Tears of Wheat's Row. You never know what you're going to get. You just don't. This is a new deck too, y'all. Thank you, Infinite, for being here with us. Please use this deck as your tools to bring messages to your we feel. I as your willing messenger. Surrender to bring these messages. Surrender to bring these messages onto your we for our highest good, for your highest good, to edify you, edify self. This is backwards. 
Mm-hmm. Edify self onto source. Other cells so they can edify source so we can unite at edify source. And if it be so, seal it, I say. All right. Yeah, that was weird, huh, spirit? Yeah, it was almost like it was really, really clunky, like uh, from the begin, from the end to the beginning, end to the beginning, end to the beginning. Like you, you, you know how they say the father, that father knows from the beginning to the end. But if he knows from the beginning to the end, then he could tell us from the end to the beginning, right? Yeah. Okay. What is that? Spirit says no. No is in a challenge. What is it? Ooh. Ability to say no. Spirit says you might have an issue with saying no. You might have an issue with saying no, beloved. You may uh, need to fall back. And, and again, to see if a person is really for you or not, the best way to find that out is to say no. Say no. And say no fast. Say no early. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I had to get that sip. Mm-hmm. Spirit says say no. No to something. Inner child healing. Yes. Inner child healing is here. Definitely. Would I be proud of myself if I spoke to other people in the same ways my thoughts speak to me? Inner child healing. It's here. You may have been going through this for a long time because, again, self-love is in the challenge. One is coming to one is with you. Entering into relationships that reflect those wounds. Keep seeing it come back over and over and over again, I feel. Receiving what you need is in a challenge because you are having an issue saying no. It leads you to uh, the inability to move on or having issues with closure. Yeah, that's what we need to bust up in this scenario. Is this right, Father? Okay, take charge in action. Yeah, take charge, Father said. Right over your hammer. Take charge. Be persistent and work on it. Honesty and communication. I said you might end up in a meeting. See, we talked about this Cupid arrows. Uh, have faith, love is coming. Surprise invitation or a meeting. Spirit said a meeting. You may end up in conversation with this person and have to communicate with them. Yeah, but be honest in your communication and the ability to say no is in a challenge. So I don't know if this meeting is going to have a requirement, a request from you, something like that. Spirit is saying yes, but Spirit says you may have a challenge with saying no. And you may have to think about it because Spirit can't tell you what to do. You know, you just need to be aware that you are going to have to hold your composure. Hold your composure. Or your ability to hold your composure is in a challenge. Because it feels like, yeah, this is not. But you are protected. Angelic protection is here. Spirits put it on the other side. So maybe it's something that you need to get through. But know at the end of the day that you are protected. Yeah. I throw cards all over the floor, y'all. Be having to uh, do that. But Spirit is saying... Saying no is a challenge. I don't, that is really sticking out to me. Inner child healing, no is a challenge. What is the challenge? To come out of what? The confusion? The chaos? Is it rumination? Back and forth, 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 back and forth. Like the ability to be steadfast in your no, I think is a problem. It's an issue. Like you kind of going back and forth between... Whether or not a doubt, a doubt, I feel doubt, yes. Okay. See? Yes. No, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. Back and forth, back and forth. And Spirit wants it the other way, right in front of the no. So no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, is that in this deck? No, it's something else. Is that it? Is this it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, what is that? Vulnerable. Vulnerability and freedom. Vulnerability and freedom, yes. Because we have 
self-love issues and one is coming together with unity relationships that reflect your wounds you're talking about the challenge with receiving what you need communication issues communicate clearly and honestly right holding your composure but inner child issues too going back and forth right this right here vulnerability and freedom because it's hard to be honest about the things that you are vulnerable, vulnerable about. But that vulnerability does lend it to freedom. It does. You know, because you can release the shame. And vulnerability allows you to be seen as a whole person. I mean, you have to you be, 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 be uh, careful with who you let your whole self out with. And you, that's why I think this composure card is in a challenge, right? You have to be careful with how you do it. It's two of these. Which one? Is it this? Which one? This. Okay. All right. Mother, father, ego. A oh, mother, father, God. I read it the other way. What is that, spirit? What is that? Is that the balance? Coming together with all, like, the masculine and the feminine and the spiritual. All of it. Yeah, that's how I feel. Like coming into complete balance. Yeah. Is that right? Is it close? Ah, uh, God alignment. Align with God. Mother, Father, energy. Align with God. Yeah. Yeah. So aligning your whole energy with the most high. Is there anything else in this deck? No. Turn it over. Surrender. That's the bottom energy. Surrender. Surrender it. Vulnerability and shame. Aligning with the most high God. Surrender it. Because we can see the back and forth. No, yes. No, yes. No, yes. No, yes. Honesty and communication needs to happen. Honest communication. And you're going to have to be to take charge and take action. But whatever it is, a part of it has to do with inner child healing, like deep wounds, deep wounds. And your ability to do this and have this communication and hold your composure might be a challenge. We, it might be a challenge. But you still need to take charge and have the, commu the communication. That way you can come out of the energy of the to and fro, the back and forth, that double-minded state, right? But vulnerability, your ability to be vulnerable is a challenge. But if you can overcome the ability to be vulnerable and communicate honestly, then you can come into like alignment, like the, the balance of your energies, but also in alignment with the Most High God. Is that right? Yes. And know that at the end of the day, you are protected. You have protection. Where should we go? Is it not this? Where should we go? Angel answers. So we wasn't ready to talk about that card yet. No. Okay. Is that card the end? No. There's more after that. Okay. So I guess when I said the end of the day, Spirit was like, no, because that's not the end of the day. It's something else in this message after this card. So, my bad, Spirit, for jumping out there before you. Mm-hmm. So, a year from now, this keeps coming out. So for someone, something is going to happen a year from now. And that's on the other side of the board, too. Okay, Spirit, turn it over. Helpful people. Helpful people. It's coming in to do something over here. We have to fill in this space and see what this is. We're not really for sure yet. Let's just get some more cards. Let's get some more cards. Do we pass it? Is it in this deck? Okay. Okay. If you believe. If you believe. 
It's something that's going on that's causing you to, because we have alignment with the Father, and then there's space, it's blank. We haven't filled it in yet, but something may be challenging your faith and your confidence, your belief. So something is challenging your belief, but if you believe, whatever it is, you fill in the blank, y'all, we, then a year from now, yeah, yeah. Again, be assertive. We have the second one. We got to take charge in action here, and we have be assertive here. Again, be assertive. Coming into alignment, being assertive. Is it here? Yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so humbled for you to bring this message. To use me as your willing messenger to bring this message to you. We feel. Please bless the person that this message is designed for for all of those it is designed to reach and let it um let it resonate and you magnetize um them to this space so that uh they may receive it and they may take it in and send it to you have you revealed onto them what they should do drop that back down and they can push it out yes do you want this no what do we want There we go. Yes. Yes. Father says yes. Right here in the middle. So coming into alignment. We're getting over the challenge of your vulnerability. Coming into the alignment. Unlocking the key. Coming to alignment. Being assertive and standing your ground. You know, yes, that is the path. If you believe, it'll happen a year from now. Not for sure what it is. That will be for you to discern. Not for sure what it is, but it is something. Something that is being born out of this situation. Yeah. Something that's going to be born out of it. I don't know if it's a continuance of like a reconciliation. No. Is it a service? No. Is it new love? No. Is it uh, self-healing? Yeah. Okay coming back to self and healing self because source is always concerned about us being unknowing that we are whole and we are complete is there anything else in here that you would like source no okay turn it over opportunity yes this is an opportunity for you to heal opportunity for you to heal we have that inner child healing it's right here on the top so all that double-minded no yes inability to be vulnerable you know again sometimes that's a product of you know of being human you know and especially depending on you know your wearing feeling like you have to be strong all the time and put the face on and you can't be vulnerable and let your shame out and bust it up but yes yes we can you don't have to carry that around we do not where where would you like to go father this one all right we got some tarot here mr weight Yes, yes. Thank you, Father, for using these cards as tools for your wheat field. Let's get it in here. Yes, I am the willing messenger, and I will definitely um, and surrender to bringing the messages. So, thank you so much. Hold on, y'all. What's up? Looking for your wallet. For the yeah. key. My key to my car. It's over there. Thank you. Very welcome. Kind of cute. You look very cute. My daughter getting ready to go on a date, y'all. She looks so precious. She do. It's so pretty. It's not sitting right there on the top of the thing. Look in front of you. It should be sitting right there. I was Yes. Love you. Yep. Love you too. Have a good day. Spirit says this is a new cycle. Yes. It's going to start a whole new cycle. I hear a, a whole new world. Can't sing a lick, y'all, but I sure just heard it. Something exciting. Yes, you never know what this opportunity is going to be because it's definitely an opportunity for something. Yeah, and Spirit says you're going to have to pull back inside and kind of just think about, you know, what it is that you need to do for self. Kind of hold on to self um, right now. Yeah, pull back in. Not be frugal, not be stingy, not being isolated, but just re really... Is it isolated? No. Really, uh, yeah, just dialed into you, I feel. Like pulling your energy back into self so that you know what it is that you need. Because you're probably going to need it. All of your energy reserved so that you can do whatever this is. I'm not for sure what it is. Okay, yeah. Coming back together with self, yeah. 
coming into you. Into you. That's what Spirit said. You're going to pull back and come in together with you in this new cycle. Yeah. Do you want something out of here? There we go. Protection. Defending yourself. Coming back into you. Defending yourself. Yes. And that's a challenge. To protect you. You're going to be challenged with protecting you. Is there anything in here? You want any one of those? Yeah. What did I say? Protecting you. Queen of Swords. Got that sword up. Very king. Very analytical. Watching it. You can come on in, but I'm going to discern everything that's coming in. And if it ain't right, pulling that sword off your back. Yeah. That's what she said. If it ain't right, oh no. If it ain't right, oh no. That's what that energy does, though. Protection. Protect you from anything that's coming in so that you can see. Because you want to protect this new cycle that's coming in. You know things are changing for you. They're changing. And the healing is needed so that you can come to balance. Yes. You're going to cut some shit out so you can go into that other cycle. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Anything else on this deck, Father? Okay, I'll show you that. Turn it over for, yeah, because that's the choice you're going to make. That's the choice you're going to make, beloved. It is. You're going to choose to cut out all that nonsense because it's not calling you to your highest good. And right behind that was the truth. The truth is pushing the choice. Yeah, because there's, behind, there's betrayal back here. Betrayal. And something that had you delayed. But the delay is upside down. You've been enlightened. You've been illuminated. Yeah, we, yeah. And you're going to make the choice. You're going to make the choice. You're going to make the choice with the Hierophant. You're going to make the choice. You're going to make the choice to see the truth. You see it because you're illuminated. You see the truth. You see it. And that truth is about that betrayal. And you're going to have a judgment. You're going to make a choice about that. And it's being led by the Spirit. You're not alone by yourself. Or it's the law. Is it the law? Hmm. I don't know what this is. But whatever it is, you called in a situation. Is the law the old law? Is it law like police? Like in the 3D, our world law? Uh, okay. We ain't going to go down up in there. Do you want to talk about it? Maybe another deck. Let's pull it out and get a secret spirit. Said it ain't nothing left in there. Huh. Yeah, because it's huh. You might not know. You might not. Or you maybe you do. Because the high priestess is the secret keeper. It's something that somebody is known. It's something. Oh, yes, my we. Oh, yes. Let's get the black tarot out. Come on, spirit. Come on, father. This one? Okay. Thank you so much, father. Cleanse the deck. Get the energy. That's right. Thank you so much for this reading, for this session. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. In all things, we pray. And if you say it is so, I say that. I do you say that it's so? Holy Father, that which created all things, we come to you to ask you to bless these cards, to use them as tools to develop, the, to send the messages to your wheat field. I am your willing messenger. Surrender to give the message. And if you say it is so, please say that it is so. And if it is blessed and sealed, please seal it with an ashe. Ashe. All right, y'all. Ooh, I had to make sure what was that with it. Like, do you want me to continue this, put it out, do it not? Like, hey, because if we're not in alignment, I'm not going to do it. We're not going to go forward. Oh, no, we will not. Do you want these? No. This is something in here. Oh, I feel it. I feel it. I can feel it. Mm-hmm. What did I say? There we go. Two of Cups. Affirmation, confirmation, validation. Boom. Two of Cups. Spirit said, yeah. That's what it is. All of this is to push you inside of you so you can come together with self. You're going to come out. I don't know what happened in the past, what it went through, what it was. But anytime we go through situations like that, it's to cause you to go into self. Especially when the relationship is reflecting a deeper wound like childhood, trauma, things like that. That needs to still be healed in you, beloved. Going back and forth, to and fro. No, yes, no, yes, no, yes. Picking up relationships that reflect your childhood wounds. And, and being, the ability to be vulnerable and to free yourself is a challenge. It's a challenge. 
Yeah, it is. It's a challenge. Is this it? In reverse? Okay. What is that? Six of spheres. Equal give and take. The ability to have reciprocity. It's in a challenge. Yeah. And you got Queen of Swords right up underneath that Six of Pentacles. So, you probably going to be cutting it out. It's like time out for shit that's not, uh, because, huh. Look at this right here, the way it's set up. We got unequal give and take, right? This is in the reverse, so it's not happening. And it's coming right down on top of this sword. Like, time out for anything that is not equal give and take. And then right up underneath that, we got the Nine of Wands. Boom. Look at that message right there, if y'all can see that. Okay. That right there says to me that you uh, huh, are challenged with protecting any and everything that comes into you. Like I said, you discerning it. If it ain't equal give and take, if you ain't giving, huh, it's a hell no. Because you had an issue with whether say yes, say no, yes or no, yes or no. Back and forth. Either yes to healing or no to other people or yes too many to people. You know, take it how it resonates, how it flow. Yeah, Spirit said don't be no fool. But you are finna start something new. And the choice of how you do that is gonna be up to you. That's gonna be a challenge for you, though. It could be a challenge for you to figure out how to start this new thing, how to go on this new journey. Because of here, the Ten of Swords, you've been betrayed before. You've been betrayed. You've been afraid, been betrayed, but you gotta take charge, even though it's a betrayal here, and be assertive. It's right up underneath that. We gotta take charge. Coming out of this double-minded mind that was in that, I mean, it was a betrayal happened. You can't really deny it. Yes or no? Yes or no? No, it was a betrayal. It happened. But I mean, you have to be assertive in your moving forward. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the truth. Spirit said you have to be assertive in your moving forward, and that's the truth. That's the truth. Because you know the truth. Yes, you do. But do you believe it, beloved? Do you believe it? Spirit said, do you believe it? Ten of Wands. Burdens. Do you believe the truth? You are burdened by the truth, I believe. Yeah. Especially with this vulnerability is in a challenge. Coming into alignment. Yeah, but you getting over the vulnerability and the shame will help you come into alignment. That will be. Yes. Take charge. Be assertive. Standing on the truth. Staying in the truth. Oh, that's the Ace of Wands anyway. Is that true? No, that's help. It looked like the Ace of Swords. Let me see. Why do I feel the truth? Truth of the conflict. Tools to bring out the truth so there's this is going to be a tool to bring out the truth this is deep y'all i don't know what what the frick because it's definitely some burdens here and it's a tool to to is that going to lift the burdens is it going to expose it yes so whatever has gotten you burdened, something is going to come out of this Ten of Swords. Take charge. Ten of Swords is a betrayal. But then there's an Ace of Wands here to be a, that you are going to need to you be assertive with. And this Ace of Wands, Spirit is saying, is a tool that's going to be gained out of this Ten of Wands, uh, Ten of Swords. So out of this betrayal, you're going to get a tool, something to use that is going to lift your burdens if you believe it. If you believe that you can do it. Yeah. You want either one of these? Yeah. This. Oof. The Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant in reverse? Is it in reverse? Where does it go? So we got Ten of Wands and a reverse hierophant. What is the reverse hierophant, Father, with the Ten of Wands? Burdens returned by 
the law. Ooh. So Spirit is saying that the burdens that were placed on you may be up here in this betrayal. It was a bur some burdens that came out of this. And they're going back by the law. So the law is in reverse. It feels like it's pushing it back. Huh. This, 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 no. That's interesting. Yeah. Whatever it is this relationship was, you and this person were mirroring each other, mirroring childhood wounds. Yeah. Things that were not healed. Whatever this is, spirit wants it in reverse. The emperor. Ooh, challenge. It's an emperor. Uh, a dark emperor. Yeah, you want this? A dark emperor. Masculine, head, of the head type of energy, supposedly boss energy, got it together. Mature, yeah, that whole nine. Do you want this? Yeah, two of swords. Maybe this emperor who made the wrong choice. Choices in the reverse. Yeah, queen of spears. In reverse. Second person. Male. Feminine couple chaos, yeah. So, this is the emperor and a challenge that was in a dark energy. Feels like, yeah, definitely throwing cards everywhere. Do you want either one of these? No, this emperor in a dark, uh, challenged energy, um, coming from a low vibration. Uh, maybe still operating on the childhood hurts and wounds that had not healed yet, right? And the choice was to hook up with a queen of swords that was the queen of spheres in reverse. Seven of wands. Yeah. Blocked. What's blocked? The new, the moving forward. Yeah. The equal give and take. Blocked. Yeah, that's why it's in reverse. Is that why it's in reverse? Yeah. Going back, I said, I feel sending it back, that energy back. And whatever that energy was that was in reverse, you're protecting yourself from this Queen of Spears, Queen of Pentacles, who was probably acting foolish. And that, un yeah, what did I say? Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords energy. Yes, feel right on. This sword, you, you, the emperor, are you sitting in the queen of swords energy? Yeah. Yeah. Cutting stuff out. Very discerning at this point. Like, not wanting anything to come in without you looking at it. Which way does it go? Okay. What is that? The star. Spirit at the top of this, leading the whole thing. Spirit at the top, leading the whole thing. What's that? The five of swords. Yeah, because it was deceitfulness. It was lies. Deceitfulness. The five of swords led right into the ten of swords. And out of that ten of swords, the betrayal, you were assertive. You stood strong, I believe. You were assertive. Or you're, you are assertive right now. Maybe that's why this space is empty. I don't know. How does this come together to both sides? Is this one whole story? No. This is one energy, and this is another energy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Who's over here, spirit? Because somebody definitely has some inner child healing to do, and they called in a relationship that reflected those wounds. And being vulnerable and getting to freedom um, with that was a challenge. But somehow or another, you did come into a balance. You did. Taking authority, taking charge, you know, being assertive. And there was something, a tool that came out of this Ten of Swords. But it was lying and deceitfulness. And the spirit at the top of the table says that uh, the spirit 
is working in this. We know that the Most High is working in all things anyway. Yeah, we, we do. But um, just to like have it really in this situation, Spirit is at the top of the, of the table. It is. Is there anything else in here, Father? Three of Swords. Yeah, heartbreak. Yeah, heartbreak. Betrayal, lies, heartbreak, deceit. Yes, it's all here. You see it. Is it this? No, is it this? Yeah. The hangman, it had you delayed, held up, delay. Is it challenged? Challenged with the hangman, challenged and being in delay. Yes, where does it go? Right here. Yeah. So, ten of swords got you challenged and delayed and hung up. But it's still in the meantime, it's, it's something coming out, a grand tool, some grand help, something that's coming out of this. Is it a gift? A grand gift, not like the Ace of Pentacles, but it's a a, a, a a for show tool, a for show gift. Like, yes, okay, okay, Father, come on, Sasha. You want this? No. You want either one of these? This. Death. Death to this. Death. Death and rebirth. This, this, no, okay. Death and rebirth is here. And death is a transformation. And maybe the transformation and the delay in this uh, transformation is a part of the issue, right? Maybe that is just a current space that is ongoing, that this is coming down, or, and this is a process of getting through whatever. Okay, what is it? What is this? The end. And this is the end. And this right here is a now. So again, two stories, right? But how do they come together, Father? Why is this together? Because are these, is these, these, are these two, is this energy and this energy together? No. Do they know each other? Yes. Is this... Is this a past relationship? Yes. And preparing for reun reunification. So Spirit says these two parties have been apart. A and they are being prepared for reunification. Seven of Spheres. A new harvest. A harvest, investment, all of that is here. Yeah. Do you want something in here? Yeah. King of Spheres. King of Spheres energy. That's in a challenge. Why is King of Spheres here? Is that another energy? A person? No. Is it the attitude? Um, King of Spheres is somebody that's... Maybe this energy had their concept of what successful relationship and stuff like that looked like. You know, King of Pentacles is, uh, I mean, he got money, got the bread, business mindset, you know, that energy of uh, just really watching your coin, uh, headstrong, assertive, yeah, you know, kind of energy. And maybe that's just the attitude, the disposition. I don't feel like that's another person. That's what Spirit said. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. This person, like that single mindset of, you know, get the bread. Very assertive, uh, ambitious, go get it kind of attitude. And they were challenged with that. And maybe that challenge allowed... Uh, 
this distortion, this distortion and chaos, calamity to ensue. Like, a, I feel like a building up in you until it just kind of comes out. Is it communication? Is it energy building? Is it investment, work, a work? Kind of like whatever it is that you're working on. Is the king of spheres. Hmm. I feel really odd about this piece of spread. Why? Eight of wands, something coming in. But that's all we got the other side. Hmm. Spirit, could you please clarify this nine of spheres on top of the king of spheres? So we got a that king of spheres energy and a nine of spheres. Is that energy really a nine of spheres type of energy? But they have the king of spheres attitude and disposition. Okay. A high priestess again that's the second one right here high priestess you have a knowingness about something yeah you do high priestess you have a knowingness about something it's over here still at the end there's a knowingness about this whole thing I don't know who you guys are but goodness this is a crazy spread we got one energy over here that needed to do some serious inner child healing. Like that back and forth, yes or no, just being really unsure. Lacking composure or challenged with composure. You know, and then, you know, we got vulnerability and shame in relationships that reflect that, uh, that inner work, that inner turmoil, the inner trauma. Calling in those relationships. Seeing mental speak. Would you be proud of yourself if other people spoke to you the same way your thoughts spoke to you, right? That's that same thing. And what kind of recurring relationships and situations do you attract? This energy is over here attracting recurring situations. This energy is over here with, you know, the same thing. Relationships that reflect that childhood trauma. So it feels like the two energies are both calling in a similar thing but on separate pathways and whatever spirit is doing in the life of the both of you it is leading towards boom right back yeah that's what i feel and on this end it's a knowingness it's a secret because it's two high priestess on this on this side right here two two and underneath the high priestess is anxiety Anxiety. Look at that. And right up underneath that anxiety, huh, five of swords. Same thing here. Five of swords. Yeah. So, it does. It's, it appears to be on the board. This, The two of you across look like spectrums. One all the way down here, one all the way down here, still mirroring the same type of chaos and confusion, just in two different spaces. Both needing to do healing work, shadow work. Yes, both needing to do shadow work um, because the both of you are going through some stuff. This energy has gone through a serious betrayal with lies and deceit and heartache. And this one over here is seriously challenged with the ability to trust anybody. I mean, anybody that come in on them, they falling on swords. It's like, if you ain't giving no give and take, no such and such and such and such, no evil equal, and I can see what you coming in with, huh. Swords to you, I'm defending my whole new setup situation. I'm holding my energy back to me coming into balance with self. And that's the truth. Hmm. Do you want this card? No. Okay. Is there anything else in this deck? Okay. Let's get it. What would you like to clarify? That's a little loose. Come on, let's get a handle on this. Give it a shuffle. Yes. Yeah, I see it come together now. Yeah. And we see this nine of spheres type of energy in the middle. We see death and re, re reunification. It's delayed though, because the death card is in the challenge next to the hangman that's in the challenge. So both energies are challenged right now. I see going both ways. Yeah. 
but it's a tool here with this ace of wands something on this side right here that's going to be able to break things up these burdens right here it looks like it's going back the other way because we have a hierophant right here in the reverse that's pushing the energy back back to where i don't know is it back with this energy? Are they going to keep it? No. Is it back to where that energy hurt from? Yeah. Whoever placed it on this energy, that shit is going back. And whoever this energy is over here on this side of the board, to the huck. They got swords out everywhere. Swords and wands, nana wands, protected. They like to, nope, you not coming in. Is that it, father? You, they blocked there and everybody out, huh? Yeah, they blocking it out. Coming into union with self. But that's really the secret of what they need to do. And I think coming together with union with self is, uh, you know, I don't know what that's going to do in terms of reunification because that's what Spirit said this the whole thing is about. And I did a quick read earlier today about re reunification. So this is kind of a quinky thing. Is this the same? No. There's somebody else going through another situation. You want this? No. This one? No. Is there anything else that you would like to say? No. Is there more cards? Yes. Eight of Swords. Somebody is aware of how to free themselves. It's on the side with this Emperor. This emperor is aware of how to free themselves, or maybe they are just anxious and tied up in their head, and that could be why everybody is fall everything is falling on them swords at the end of the day, why the swords is up so tough, you know, because it's a lot of anxiety. Is this a lot of anxiety because you've been through it in the past, and trying to figure out what's real. Folks can't see what's coming at them. What's real, what's real, what's not. You know, and they have to put that thing up against the test. And if it doesn't pass the test of equal give and take and receiving, you putting a death to it. Like, ah, no. It's not coming in. It's not. Cut it out. You cutting it out. That shit is like, uh, no. You want this? No. Is this it? This? Father. Okay. Two of Wands. Somebody got to make a choice, a direction, which way to go. A choice to make a, a choice. Somebody's got to make a choice of which direction to go. What are we going to do about this? How are we going to choose? Which direction to go? This energy is making a choice. This energy is making a choice. Are they going to choose to come back here? Is healing done? Or is spirit helping them choose? No. Are the two of them just needing to discern and choose to take it up to the spirit to help them choose? Yeah. Take it into the spirit and help them choose. Because this person right here is definitely challenged with anxiety, being wrapped in their head, eight of swords type of energy. Eight of swords type of energy. Right? And this one right here is definitely plagued by this. Three of swords, heartache. Heartbreak. Heartbreak, seven of swords, ten of swords. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot. But coming out of it, putting a death to it, it's going to challenge everything. Feel like it's still ongoing. Like this whole thing is ongoing. Coming out single to both of you seems like we'll be single. And it's going to be like, boom. But what do we do? What is this choice that we make? Right? What do we do? What do we do? Goodness. This is a spread. Anything else in here, Father? No, well, I'll shade to that. I'll shade, beloved. Yes. I'll say to that. But it's kind of crazy, of course, and there's two high priestesses on the table to reiterate the fact that uh, somebody has an awareness. They know what to do. They do. And the lesson of the Eight of Swords, again, the lesson of the Eight of Swords is that it's mental anxiety being tied up and wrapped up in your own head, in your own mind. You know, there's nine of... Uh, Swords, that energy, ang anxious, anxiety, sleep is nice, but you already know. You already know. You already know how to release yourself from here. You do. 
And beloved, this broken heart right here, Spirit says you definitely have some inner child healing to do. And being in this here, the challenge of vulnerability and, and being and releasing shame and, 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 and getting to freedom and coming into alignment here with the Most High God. Your masculine, feminine energy and the Most High God. Balancing yourself out is the key. That's the key. Be assertive. You may end up having to have a conversation. You know, and I don't know if this conversation is going to be with this person. No, it's going to be with the past person. But Spirit says you need to hold your composure. Hold your composure. Stay steady. Take charge. You know what I mean? And and be and, and believe in yourself. Believe. You have the tools. It's something that happened in this whole situation that gave you tools to, to survive, to come out of this okay, to persevere. And not only just persevere, but come out well. I feel you're going to be well. And, of course, you are always whole and you are always complete. So that is... That's not the thing. It's just the knowingness, the knowingness that you are. You are whole and you are complete. I pray for both of these energies. This is a lot, you know, but it seems like Spirit is saying it's guiding this whole thing for the both of you. You, one over here, one over there. Probably unaware, unbeknownst to the both of you of what's happening over here, what's happening over here. But Spirit is doing what it needs to do in order to energize this whole situation to bring you to right back into alignment right back here right back here and and spirit is using all of this as the tool to do it that's what i just saw when i opened up my eyes in alignment and looked down i saw a spirit using all of this right here to as the tool to boom bring it right back like this is that right yeah, because how the Most High God works is like unbeknownst to us for the most time. And when we realize that everything is working for your highest good, then you can see that, yeah, had all of this not happened and had all of this not happened, we wouldn't have never been back to and we wouldn't have never and this, that, and the other. And that's how it goes. It really is. That's really how it goes. And then you end up with one of those stories, testimony. Ha! <laughs> Tears of Week to Roll where testimony meets to roll. Yeah, you end up with a testimony about how... You had this feeling, this inkling, like, what the heck? Like, maybe this is why everything else wasn't panning out, wasn't working out. Because you, uh, somebody over here is definitely lining everything up into an equal way to see if it's giving. If it's giving, if it ain't giving, huh, they like, it ain't giving, and I am not. I cannot swore to you. I'm blocked, I'm defended, uh, yeah. And how you're blocking and defending yourself might be a challenge. It is, because your nine of wands down here is in a challenge, beloved. Yeah. So if you're running everything and you don't see it or you're seeing everything through hurt and you got your block up so strong, you can't really see when this other thing going to come in. You're going to look at it through the same eyes of hurt. So that is a healing that you have to do. Because, again, that four pinch goes pulling yourself back, just you, me, myself. Huh, and that's what it looked like. You like, uh, no, no, thank you, no, thank you, no, thank you. And this one over here, like going through the healing of all that inner child shadow work. Yes, and taking control and charge and becoming, stepping into that assertive space. And that's what's needed after you've gone through that heartache and lying and deceit and betrayal. Yeah, yeah. So until the next time, y'all. These little fruit flies drive me bananas. I don't know how to get rid of them, y'all. I done tried baking soda and dish detergent down the drain, boiling hot water, ammonia, all kind of stuff. What the hell do you get do to get rid of these little things? That's my tear for today. Hmm. But until the next time on Tears and We Tara, which girl I see, I pray for y'all. That you just go into the spirit and, and, and rest there and let, you know, the spirit guide you into doing what is the best thing for you guys to do. Your high is good. Each on your own path to journey through this thing. And it, it, it'll be okay. It really will. It really it will. Lean into the source. Lean into the most high. And uh, it'll be good. You'll be okay. Until the next time, y'all. Ashe. Mwah.